Welcome fellow crypto addicts to the ninth project analysis on the Polkadot Parachain slot auctions and this time we're taking a look into the very interesting project of Darwinia but before we do that let me quickly point out to you that this video is not financial advice and that you should always do your own research before investing into anything. And now without further ado let's switch to the Excel model so here we are today, um, we're taking a look at Darwinia, its sister project is a crab network and they have not yet competed in the parachain slot auctions on Kusama. I'm guessing that they will um, join with the next batch of auctions, but they're not in the current batch of auctions. But um, what do these projects do? Um, well, Darwinia is a multi-chain bridge hub, um, so they will re realize cross-chain asset management and all in all they will um, lay out the foundation for Web3.0 D apps and games. So this is a quite a far-reaching um, value proposal. Um, and you can also see that they have received three Web3 Foundation grants and that's quite a high number compared to the other projects. There is only one project who has received more than three Web3 Foundation grants and that um, implies that um, what Darwinia is doing is really beneficial for the Polkadot um, ecosystem and with their broad value proposal it it is. Also, uh, they are um, 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 bringing a lot of um, benefits to Polkadot if they secure uh, parachain slot. Um, they are backed by um, seven bigger investors, so this number is quite low, but this does not mean that this is bad. Um, uh, this could also be positive as there are not that many institutional investors um, selling their tokens after they want to cash out their gains. But yeah, let's just look at the token. So Darwinia is um, issuing a ring token with a maximum supply of 10 billion tokens and an annual inflation of around 4%. So that is um, actually fine. Um, yeah, 4% is basically fine. I don't need to worry about that. Um, but let's look at the allocation schedule. So for the parachain rewards, Darwinia is issuing 15% uh, of their total supply. Another 15% is going to the team, which is uh, fine, um, probably a bit on the upper end of the spectrum here. 30% um, is um, issued to investors and we see they don't have that many investors. So actually um, this might become a problem because the more investors a project has like the sub DAO with 27 investors and the 30 percent supply uh, and the 15 percent um, token supply um, uh, allocated to them well n not all of the 27 investors will probably sell at the same time but for this if the supply is only divided by the seven investors if one investor sells it's a lot of the supply that um, will be um, put on the market and this will uh, lead to um, a high negative pressure on the price. Um, just uh, so you can consider that. 5% um, is uh, reserved for a liquidity program. Mm, that is quite a low number, but they have 35% in their reserve and development um, treasury so um, that is fine and if we add up those we are at 40 percent and this is um, maybe a bit lower than some of the other projects um, but still nothing to concerned about um, i'm a bit concerned here about the 30 percent they allocated to, to the only seven investors um, this could um, lead to a supply shock um, after the token generation event or after the token reaches a price where those investors want to realize their gains. But um, let's move on um, to what allocation you can expect per dot. Um, at the, at the, in the worst case scenario you can expect uh, 6.5 rings and but uh, you would rather expect about um, 200 ring tokens and 0 0.001 Katen tokens. So Katen and ring are related tokens. So I think uh, well, uh, Katen is the 
Um, Darwinia Commitment Token, um, you get it if you lock your ring for um, yeah, a specified amount of time. I think it's half a year or a year, or something like that. But you have to lock your ring tokens to receive the Katen token. And Katen currently trades at $90. But um, if we look at the amount you get, so it's actually quite neglectable. In the best case scenario, that would be 30 cents of Katen. And the worst case scenario, that would be 15 uh, sense of Cajun for uh, one uh, dot you contribute, so this is really is neglectable. But um, let's um, take a look at how I calculated the expected allocation per dot. Um, so today we are here. Um, the hard cap of Darwinia is at uh, 30 million dots. This would be about 1.5 billion US dollars. Uh, would be 3% of the dot market cap and 8% of the supply available for this auction. And all in all, I think you can assume that uh, Darwinia is, will not reach the full hard cap because this is just way too much for a project um, that is uh, not uh, funded by that many big capital firms and thus also um, does not have the biggest community of all. And also their sister project, uh, Cra Crab Network um, has not yet started to compete in the Kusama Parachain auction, so unfortunately we have no data coming from there, um, which um, will lead to um, a pretty broad assumption we have to take here, as it is really hard to evaluate how much um, dots um, Darwinia will actually raise, as, uh, like I said before, it's very unlikely that they will reach their hard cap. And we have no numbers for the sister project, but um, I was uh, just taking the same amount that I, I assume for all smaller projects, about $400 million, which will be 8 million dots. I think um, if Darwinia um, is able to secure a, a slot, they will have to raise um, at least the 8 million dots, probably a bit more, but that would mean um, that um, actually you will get um, 178 um, ring token for one dot contributed and as they are only allocating 8000 Katen token this will lead to 0 0.00027 Katen token that you will get um, Oh no, actually this was the wrong calculation, I did that before. Um, if you divide it by this, this will lead to the 0 0.001 Katen token um, that you will receive additionally um, for your contribution. Um, if we move back, back again to the model, mm. we have that almost 200 ring token and the 0 0.1 Katen token, which is uh, not that much. Um, on top of this number, uh, so on the number we calculate in the expected reward distribution um, sheet, um, I added a 5% referral bonus because you get that if you if you are referring um, a friend or whatever. And if you uh, wanna um, invest in Darwinia, um, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. I will post one where you can directly contribute uh, to Darwinia and I will also post another one if you contribute via parallel finance then you get a 5% referral bonus on the para additional para token rewards you get. Because every time you contribute via parallel finance you receive um, about 5% extra rewards um, on their para token rewards if you use a referral link. Okay, so um, moving on, um, we're coming to the price analysis. So, um, and this is where it gets really tricky for this project because currently it has a really, really small market cap of, um, I think it was like 45 million or something like that, but a really, really small market cap. And um, this, um, and that's why I um, expect if Darwinia is uh, securing a parachain slot because their token is actually already trading, um, this their market cap will um, increase actually by a lot, and so that they're in the same league as the relative um, projects here, but um, a bit smaller than all the others. I assumed about 230 uh, million. 
dollars in a market cap. I think this is achievable for Darwinia. M might be a bit much from today's point of view, but um, I also thought that um, as their value proposal is quite broad and quite fundamental, they could also or they could this project can bring a lot of utility to Polkadot, mm -hmm. um, which would mean that this market cap is pretty low for a project that's bringing that much utility. Um, but the question here is how much utility will Darwinia actually bring to the ecosystem? And um, yeah, there no one can know, and there's just guessing there. But I think uh, if we are calculating with a market cap of 230 million, um, this is achievable. And um, yeah, um, moving on further, if we look at the price expectations, um, so currently um, Darwinia is uh, trading a bit below. Um, yeah, at eight cents. So, with the twenty cents, with the lowest price expectation, um, I already um, included some um, uh, a doubling of the price, a, a pretty big price increase. And why did I do that? Well, because Darwinia's market cap is so small that it's actually quite easy for them to double in price. Um, that's why the lowest price expectation is not the price where Darwin is trading now, because if they really bring those util this uh, implied utility to Polkadot, um, this uh, would be pretty easy achievable to, for them to trade at 20 cents, uh, which would make the which would which would give them a market cap of 120 million, which is also quite small and really quite small for a project that is bringing that much utility. But if we look at the um, uh, normal, the medium scenario uh, price expectation, um, we are, I calculated uh, 38 cents per ring token, um, which will then uh, result in this market cap of 230 million, quite possible. And in the best outcome scenario, so Darwinia really goes uh, to the moon in that case. Um, they will have a market cap of around 300 million dollars and yeah w well that is pretty much possible because uh, for the other project um, actually Clover Finance which is one of the smallest projects that I um, evaluated in terms of market cap this is at 450 so um, Darwinia might be heavily undervalued at the time as they also have um, as great social sentiment, so they have a lot of Twitter followers and their GitHub activity is on point and they also have um, a fair amount of uh, Telegram users. So that's, uh, the big question mark is here is why is Darwinia trading for so low? But this uh, might be an opportunity for you. But um, let me point out that um, as far as it looks as of today, um, Darwinia will probably not uh, win um, uh, parachain slot in the first bunch of auctions, um, but uh, they will probably then compete again in the second batch. And if they um, are able to win a slot there, and they are um, giving out the same uh, rewards, uh, which is to be expected, then um, y this project could possibly be very, very um, lucrative um, for um, investing or blocking your uh, dots. And let's um, yeah well let's summarize this. Um, so how, how what kind of rewards can you expect? Well, you can only expect rewards if they win. But if they would win, and we're taking the average of the price expectations here, you can expect at around seventy-one dollars of rewards. And this this is a quite a high number here because we see the only project that I have evaluated so far that beats this or is at the same amount as Manta Network. So. Um, possibly uh, very uh, favorable rewards you get there. The sentiment for me is just one plus because well the value proposal is quite good, but um, I was wondering why haven't you heard more of this project um, if they are doing that, uh, if they're bringing that much um, 
value to the Polkadot ecosystem and also um, well their community is um, is fine it's not too big but it's also not very small but my sentiment here is just one plus as they will probably not um, uh, be able to secure a parachain in this auction batch and this is the reason why I rated it BBB um, because well there's a lot of uncertainty with this project um, there is the possibility for uh, high rewards in this project but um, they will definitely or will probably not win this time so um, we should uh, you should take a closer look at this project um, in the next uh, auction batch and then probably if their chances of winning are uh, better then I would also uh, I would um, increase the uh, rating to maybe at least A or double A. All right, so um, that was it for Darwinia. Indeed, a very interesting project, but also a very uh, un a project with a lot of uncertainties. Um, if you like this uh, video, um, feel free to um, subscribe to my channel so you will get notified on the upcoming videos. And if you are joining the um, Paratrain Slot Auction, feel free to use my referral links in the description below. And so I wish you good luck with the auctions and see you guys next time.